Hey Capricorn, I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did pull five cards for you. We're going to go ahead and get right into your read. I want to thank you guys for all your support. Wacky Mo, W-A-C-K-Y-M-O-E on Twitter and Zen Romance Tarot on Twitter. And of course YouTube and TikTok. But those are the places I post. I don't post on Facebook or Instagram. I guess you could call me one of those people, right? Where you don't have a good relationship if you will with those platforms for whatever reasons right and just to lead into that i feel like there's somebody in your energy here guys because you have this king of wands is coming up reversed here there's somebody coming up in your energy who is prejudiced somebody who's a bigot somebody who might have some issues with uh, colorism racism something like that whoever this person is now this could be your energy or maybe you've come into some sort of feeling that somebody feels some type of way about you or in some cases you've been exposed and somebody knows something about you whatever whatever that's about so i feel like whoever this is and i you know we hope this isn't you but this is somebody you guys may need to watch out for um for some of you guys here you are dealing with this person with this king of wands this person is coming across as some sort of a bully here somebody who has some issues, they might be sexually frustrated, they might have some weaknesses, and they're not ready to move when it comes to something. This person is prejudiced. This person has no moral compass. This person is not willing to listen to anybody else's opinion. So if this is a person that you guys are dealing with, please be mindful of the cruelty that they bring along with everything, right? So they're bullying. They could be bullying other people. They could be bullying, bullying you. This could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag bullying you, Capricorn, saying things about you. They could be starting trouble in the background. This person is weak and this person is suffering some sort of sexual frustration or sexual problems. The Six of Pentacles comes up for you guys here, right? Capricorn, this card is talking about something with a gift here. For some of you guys, this is about giving and receiving generosity. That's what the Six of Pentacles is about. If we look further into the text, we see that it has something to do with a gift, right? Of a financial investment, something where somebody wants to invest in your business or you were supposed to invest in somebody's business or something like that, right? The cards say here that you were supposed to receive a small legacy. I think I'm going to give this to you. You were supposed to receive some sort of a small legacy. This could have been from a friend. It could have been from a competition win, a bonus or some payout, something like that. Or it could just be a friend from somebody who's a a relative it also says here you could also be inspired to give somebody else so for some of you guys there's this aries leo sagittarius energy who was supposed to give you a gift you could be a, a capricorn taurus or a virgo so you guys could have received some gifts from this person capricorn this person could have given you something this person is unwilling to listen to other folks' opinions and they also put you in a three of swords category for some of you guys this could be a business partnership this could be somebody that you guys were dealing with, with the Six of Pentacles, the giving and receiving. For somebody, you were probably giving a lot to this relationship is what I'm thinking, Capricorn. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. There's something here about cheating. Somebody could have been cheating. Somebody could have made somebody a third party. I do want to be clear, like I've been saying in these last couple of weeks, third parties don't always have to be people. They can be work. They don't always have to be romantic interests. I, you know, I hate that. There's like a little ant. It doesn't, sometimes it's not a romantic interest. Sometimes it could simply be somebody's kid. It could be somebody's parent. It's something that has some sort of an impact on a relationship. So there's a three here. This is cheating. This is a third party. This is some dramatic, dramatic event that happens in a relationship. It causes chaos. It causes upheaval, stress, can't sleep, up all night, right? Something that kind of rocked you to your core in a little bit i feel like for some of you guys you could be suffering or have suffered some sort of a heartbreak from somebody or heartbreak of a loss of a situation or divorce for some of you guys you had to have a surgery whatever that's about now that can mean a variety of things here but somebody had a surgery for somebody there could have been uh, there could have been issues with a baby because there is some sexual issues here, right? So somebody could have had a problem getting pregnant, or somebody could have terminated a pregnancy, possibly. All right, three of swords energy coming up, but this causes some kind of chaos because it cuts a commitment out of your life. This could have been a love commitment. It could have been a partnership, something that you were working with somebody to do, right? Because there's this investment. 
with the six of pentacles right somebody could have been given some money for something or somebody could have donated some money to you and somebody could have spent it capricorn you could have spent somebody's money you were supposed to give a gift to somebody or somebody gave you a gift with the intentions of you turning it over to the correct party people group to issue a check or something like that some of you guys didn't do it whatever that was about i don't know if you reinvested it but there was something about a gift or this gift simply could have been yours the scenario somebody could have did this to you somebody could have stole something from you now with the seven of wands coming up reversed here i see that whatever this is it talks about negotiations there's somebody here who's not going to have a negotiation going their way i feel like somebody has to put up some sort of an argument give birth to a story or something like that for some of you guys, this situation is making you feel weak and you are having to sit these plans out or you feel sad about a situation, whatever that is for you, all right? But I feel like whatever this is with this heartbreak, it was either this business deal that went down that broke your heart, right? That caused you some sort of a divorce, not necessarily in a marital sense, but a divorce in terms of a partnership being divided, severed, no longer existing, having to move away from each other, right? So with the seven of wands here, there are some negotiations that are not even worth the effort here. No matter how you guys try to convince others about a project or a plan, Capricorn, or this could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius, but it says that you tried hard to convince other people about a project or a plan. It said that the other parties did not appreciate your point of view and what you were talking about. So somebody could have, that could have broke your heart. You having this big plan in place and then something coming in and severing it. Something got in between. Somebody's opinion got in between you. This project you were presenting to some people here. I see a group of people with the three, right? So that entails some sort of a group. But then you're left in a two of swords energy. For some of you guys here, you are now suspicious. You don't trust these people because somebody messed up your plan. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have been the honest person in this scenario. I feel like somebody could have did this to you. It's either you or somebody else who's going to stop doing something because it's not even worth the effort. Like they're trying to negotiate something where people are not going to buy in. They're not going to listen to them. The plan doesn't sound solid. Nobody's going for it. And it leaves you or whoever this is, this Libra Aquarius Gemini, in some sort of suspicious sort of mode. So there's something with lack of trust. There's deception by betrayal, which the betrayal does show up here with the Three of Swords, okay? If we take a look at the Three of Swords upright, heartbreak, divorce, loss, separation, and somebody had a secret surgery. If we take a look at it in the reverse piece, we're going to take a look and see that there's something about apologies. There may be an apology that's coming from a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini towards you, Capricorn. For some of you guys, you are, like I said, now recovering just to get a little bit more into what you're recovering from. This could have been some sort of physical something. This could have been an abusive relationship or somebody got into some physical altercation or somebody had a surgery where they're physically healing. I can't move for six weeks. I can't whatever, right? So somebody could have literally had some sort of a surgery, but it also talks to somebody healing or healing here. So the two of swords, it's time for you to make some sort of a compromise or make some sort of decision about a situation. Give me one more. Why the two of swords? I'm just going to put it right here. The two of swords is because you know that somebody that you're dealing with could be heavily imbalanced, mentally challenged, or something could be bothering you to the point where you can't take it anymore. This could have to do with a cancer. Capricorn, some of you guys are trying to make a decision about a cancer. What do I do about this person? What do I truly think about this person? Something like that. We also have the King of Wands reverse. I feel like your opinion about this King of Wands reverse is that this person is cruel. And you also start to understand. I feel like some of you guys are tasked with, should I stay or should I go? This person's crazy. This person ain't got it all. This person is doing things that are weird, uh, vague looking, sloppy looking, uh, extra cruel, bullying me. No matter what I do, it's not right type of energy. That's because this person is mentally off. The card that came out first here, the Four of Cups. Some of you guys are accepting some situation. Except in a situation and you have a new outlook, there's something where you guys realize that I do have a new option. Some of you guys were making this decision with the Two of Swords because you thought that there was nobody else out there for you. The Four of Cups reverse says that you have a new outlook on something, right? You have a new direction and you do have a new option. Some of you have a new option. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or another one. Because I feel like the Cancer that shows up in this read is 
embattled with uh, mental illness of some sort. Somebody who's losing it. Somebody who's off kilter. They ain't right. We also have the five of pentacles that comes up. So there's something with somebody being broke. Somebody could have left you broke or you're aware that somebody's broke. This could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. This is a five of pentacles coming up reversed here. For some of you guys, you having to leave some sort of relationship and now recovering from it with a new outlook, a new direction. Some of you guys have realized you, I've taken a hit in my pocketbook. For some of you, you have a new job, a new home. For some of you guys, you are going to recover quickly. And for some of you guys, there may be some delays, but there is recovery. When it comes to affairs of the heart and affairs of the pocketbook. I feel like this King of Wands reverse took y'all for a ride, whoever you are. Took you for a ride, sold you a pipe dream, said they was going to give you this and this. You're going to get the cash as long as you do this and that, right? You're left in the four of clubs and you're also left with the five of pentacles. But it just says that you have to start new again. So that would tell me at one point you experienced maybe some sort of poverty on the verge of poverty, something with being isolated from people and financial loss, which you're recovering from. You jump from five of pentacles reversed to the seven of pentacles. With the seven of pentacles, this is some kind of patience, hard work, delays. You guys have been waiting. You've been trying to search for a new job, search for a new beginning is coming in for you here with the seven of pentacles, right? So there's some sort of success that is waiting for you. You just have to do the work. You guys are going to get over this third party situation. I feel like this third party situation was a secret business partner or somebody who was involved with a deal. Somebody cut some money out of a deal and gave it to a third party. You have the world card. Somebody could be looking at you guys online. This could be you finally completing some kind of goal or lesson. Some of you guys had these these encounters with a Scorpio. It could have been a Taurus, an Aquarius, or a Leo. There's something with the world. These people could be looking at you online, or maybe you did some traveling with them, some friends, or maybe this is the lesson that you learned, these people that you're hanging out with. Something about you guys being able to travel. Somebody might be traveling. Somebody could be a performer. Somebody could be in the... Um, the public eye, but with the world card, you have a world or online presence here. The world card also talks about a performance. Somebody could be performing something. Somebody could be immigrating to another country. It talks about immigration. Somebody could be waiting to see if they have to go back to another country. When I say go back, I mean go home, right? Whether it doesn't matter which country you're in. If you're American and you're in some other country, they could say, hey, here's a letter. We're going to need you to get the heck up on out of here. Or something is going to go down with... um. What's the building, the embassy, all right? So it could be something like that where you guys are asked to leave somewhere or to stay still where you are, right? We're monitoring you. We have the Ace of Wands that comes out reverse for you guys. So there might be some delays to projects. I feel like that this is just something that is confirming that somebody tried to delay some projects for you. With the Ace of Wands, this is some sort of restriction. Mm, I think we might have confirmation here. The seven of pentacles, your money jumps up. The world card, people are looking. You have the opportunity to travel. You have an opportunity to travel. You have an online presence. You have to make a decision. The ace of wands reverse tells us that there's some sort of restriction, a false start, delays, and also brutality. Somebody could have been treated poorly while out of the country or somebody might be being asked to leave a country because of poor behavior. Somebody stalled. Somebody can't move. Even though their money is right, the world card is here. There's people looking and the ace of wands is reversed here. Somebody's restricted. Why is this person restricted when the lesson is learned? Sometimes this might have to do with your karma. Like I learned a lesson, but I still got to go through the karma. I just recognize it so it doesn't happen again. We also have here the lovers reverse. This, some of you guys, this is a Gemini that you're dealing with, or it could be a Virgo. I feel like it's Gemini. This person can't move or you're trying to make a decision. There's something that's impacting you moving. Because there's this compromise that you have to make or there's some decision that needs to be made. Something with the world. Some of you guys are deciding whether or not you're going to run off with a Gemini. Or there's a Gemini trying to interrupt your love life. Or you guys could be sad that you had to walk away from a lover. A relationship that did not enable you the opportunity to express beauty and brains at the same time. You had to either pick a hot one or pick an ugly one. And you guys know that there are people who have both those qualities and they're decent looking, right? So I feel like something like that. Somebody tried to get in the way of something for you or you tried to stop something. I feel like this Gemini got in the way and they did something because your money went down, your love went down. I feel like, I don't know, somebody feels, I feels like somebody misrepresented something. Somebody might want their lip back or they're going to let it be known what happened to something. Give me more. We also have here the high priestess. Somebody had some dark secrets. For some of you guys, you have a Gemini who is a dark priestess. 
this high priestess here is somebody who has privy to secrets, right? So something's coming out. Something could be coming out about a Pisces. Something com could be coming out about a Gemini. Something could be coming out about this world or group of people. Something's coming out about a relationship, Capricorn, that was being had with a lover who could have been a Pisces. Or your lover could have been that Gemini. But there's a third party. This, this person could have also been a Cancer, too. Now I'm looking at all the major arcanas here. There's definitely some major arcanas. Somebody, this could be you, Capricorn. You might be going through some tumultuous um, times in one's head, right? So you guys might be having these really weird thoughts. Some of you guys might be feeling paranoia, like people are looking at me or I'm not sure what people think or something like that. This could be about a love relationship, but I feel like there's somebody here who is fearing or you are fearing something coming out, something being known, something about something that somebody practices in the dark. This could be a cancer. This could be a Pisces. For some of you guys, there's a cancer dark priestess out there interrupting your love life, possibly. Or Gemini could be a dark high priestess. Give me more. What else do we need to know? This seven, pen, seven of pentacles in the world. I see where your money goes up after you get this new job. You plan on traveling. Somebody stops it. And it looks like it's a Gemini that stops it. Somebody doesn't want you to know, Capricorn, that you are their wish come true. Or you don't want somebody to know that they're your wish come true. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be this cancer over here so you guys might know that you might be dealing with a cancer that's slightly off and you still choose to love them but you could also be dealing with a cap uh, um uh cancer pisces or a scorpio a pisces so any one of these water signs you could guys could have had something with this could have been somebody's kid here who didn't have very much to, to do or somebody was acting in this very immature energy if you have a child that could be involved in doing priestess stuff or whatever it could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. Somebody who's younger who did something to you, Capricorn. This is somebody younger. Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be somebody's kid. They were bored. Some of you guys are dealing with a partner who has children. You could have children with this person, or they could have children. These children are out here doing crazy stuff. They're like doing magic. Some of them are doing something so they can get some kind of money. You have the Page of Pentacles that comes up. This is somebody who, again, this confirms this is a kid. Somebody could have tasked a child with doing something, possibility. Somebody could have paid them money because this is about money and news. Somebody could have had a kid bring some news to them or you're going to get a letter about money. It's a page of pentacles. Somebody might be new to something. This could be about a kid or somebody who waited for something, a new job. Yep. I feel like somebody paid somebody's kid to do something. The Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles comes out. Page of Wands is reversed. All right, so that's a bored kid, and it follows up with a patient kid. So I'm bored, I'm patient, I got a new job. Somebody gave me a task. Somebody told me that I should go in and interrupt Capricorn in this Gemini or interrupt Capricorn in this Cancer or this Pisces. Interrupt your relationships with other people. The world card, right? All the fixed signs. Ain't nobody gonna check for yo. Da 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 da. Stuff like that. But that's it. I think that somebody's kid may have done something. What's the final outcome? Strength. So we have the strength card that comes out reversed. The strength card is going to be Leo. This also could be some imbalanced Leo here. Somebody who doesn't have the strength to get through something. This person. So here we go. I will tell you this just to clarify because temperance and strength, right? You can easily get those mixed up. Temperance is going to be somebody who's disruptive, right? So somebody disrupted a relationship. That was a cancer. That was me explaining that this person could be off and you have to make a decision about whether or not you want to stay with this person. This person has driven you broke. You finally get a new job, you get some new money, you're able to travel, you got some stuff set up, but the Ace of Wands steps in. That is somebody who is giving you a false start. And I believe that's what this King of Wands is, this Aries Leo Sagittarius. I feel like this person could have been gaslighting, could have. We have the Ace of Swords. This could be something new that you just found out or new discovered. Or for some of you guys, you're discovering you have to have some surgery, something about a new surgery. These things keep, uh, there's people with secret, uh, secret service, maybe them too. There's somebody out here having secret service, uh, secret, secret services. Somebody's having secret surgeries or there's a surgery they don't want you to know about. And it's confirmation here because it's coming up again. 
somebody could be dealing with the queen of swords reverse here so that's also somebody's that person could be a judge but that person could also be a corrupt judge all right this person here could be somebody who's cold or dishonest but the four of pentacles this is about somebody doing something out of greed somebody had a new idea to do something out of greed it could have been a leo who was acting as a queen of swords in some energy this Leo was greedy. This Leo's goal was to have long-term security. They wanted the money. They wanted the security. They sent the King of Wands out, possibly, or somebody sent the King of Wands up, or this could be two different groups of folk or a couple of different scenarios because I feel like all these folks are all up in your energy, right? We have the High Ferrant. Whoever this Queen of Swords reversed is, she could be a part of some sort of a society, secret society. She could be a part of a church there's Pope energy here, so that suggests somebody who's traditional, somebody who's going to make a fair judgment, and you don't really have to question morally. Oh, yeah, well, I don't care who you are. You should always. Because at the end of the day, none of us are perfect. And I think that's what, I think that is what the biggest dilemma of this all is. We are unwilling to admit that we are perfect, that we're not perfect. Then you have another group that like, listen, we are more than willing to admit that we are not perfect. And you have one group that questions the other. You don't believe because you did this. Well, we say you don't believe because you said don't do that. But you was right behind doors, which you thought wasn't being videotaped. And there you go. Right? So it's a lot of judgment going on, I think, is my point here. So the high four on comes out as somebody who is, this is either a courthouse. This is a religious figure, leader of an organization, somebody tied to an organization, but somebody who is traditional with the way they do things. Whether it be right or wrong, they consider it traditional by society. What about this high four aunt, please? The high four aunt. It says the Knight of Cups here. They were supposed to make some sort of a proposal. Maybe somebody was going to propose to you or something like that. For some of you guys, you had a Queen of Swords reverse. Try and have a Taurus who's an honest energy. Or somebody is honest here. Maybe they tried to... I don't know. I don't know if they went to this person. Because the Knight of Cups... Is it going to be somebody who comes with some sort of a proposal? Queen of Pentacles. Hold on. To a Queen of Pentacles. Somebody who's responsible with their money. Somebody who's resourceful. Somebody who's domestic. And they wanted to have you put in a third party so your heart could be broken. You have the Three of Cups that comes out reverse. Gossiping. People talking gossip. They don't know what they're talking about. Somebody partying too much. Somebody probably, they're the same. They, Capricorn, you party too much and this is what you did. And this is why the preacher got back at you and told it. If somebody did something to somebody because it looked like somebody, whoever this high four on is, they're going to tell it. It gets The story gets told because the three of cups comes out reverse here with somebody overindulging and partying. Could have tried to bring a queen of pentacles into it. Could have brought a knight of cups into it. Could have brought a preacher. A preacher. This could have been orchestrated by a queen of swords reverse, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. Over some money. A new money making idea. That was presented to somebody. By somebody who was off. It could have been a, a Leo. Who was off and presented some idea. Somebody had a new idea. To get some kind of money. They said we're going to use our kids. We got pages all in here. We got page of wands. We got page of pentacles. Somebody used their kids. Somebody's kid was bored. There have been some scenarios thrown out there that people will use children to do things because they know they'll get off. But at the end of the day, those kids are still going to talk. They get scared enough, they're going to talk. So my thing is, if you train your kids to be more afraid of celebrities than police, that to me is a problem. No celebrity should be able to come to your kid and say, I'm going to give you this much money if you do that. You got a problem. I'm just pointing that out. But there's something with the sun coming out, Capricorn. All right, the sun is going to come out. Somebody's going to have their material wealth. But there are some things that are going to have to die down. Or somebody could be losing their wealth with the death card. Because the death card is coming out reverse here. The death is about something ending. It's about something ending. It's about something being destroyed. The foundation being broken down. But when it is reversed, there's something about hope. Some of you guys still have some hope that you're going to be able to have that material happiness that you wanted. Some of you guys are wanting to come out of this two of pentacles energy, this inability to commit. Or some of you guys could have been dealing with a... Let me see who this is. I'm pretty sure that's Leo. 
Nope, some of you guys could have been dealing with an Aries. Or some of you guys could have been dealing with a Scorpio and you wanted them to make a decision about something. I feel like for some of them, they didn't make a decision yet. All right. This is because if you're not getting a commitment from your person, it's because they have an inability to commit. They're scared to commit. They don't want to commit. They feel overwhelmed when they're in a relationship. I don't know why you want to deal with this person. It says you're still making a decision about this person. This person ain't got it all. And the person, this person was actually working with the Queen of Swords reverse here. That's a dishonest judge. It could have been somebody in a legal system or someone who's hating. Somebody who's dishonest, hating, and they can... You know, they can do stuff. They have access to stuff, but they use it in a dishonest way. They're immoral. They're corrupt. They're cruel. Nasty. They don't care nothing about you. Right. The power of the self is exploration. Now, this did come out reverse. I feel like some of you guys don't want this investigation coming towards you. The power of the self is exploration, investigation, and experience. It is the curiosity of the growing child. Again, it mentions a child who wants to find out about things. You guys have some kid probing into your histories, family history. This kid is having some revelations here. The South is a place of blossoming and unfolding as purposes become clear. Some of you guys use a kid to continue an illusion, cause an illusion for somebody so the truth wouldn't come out so nobody would know. Unfolding as purposes become clear. So other people's motives are becoming clear and why they've done things to you, Capricorn, or why you've done something. It also, it is also connected with trust and intuition and feelings of emotion. Somebody tried to interrupt this for you, right? They didn't want you to know where this was your plan to make sure somebody couldn't grow in something, couldn't expand in something, keep them all messed up. So something would be held secret. So it wouldn't come out. Somebody's could live in the South. Somebody's name could have South in it. It could be a state name, South. Then we also have the West here. So the West is about a journey around the magical circle. So somebody could be taking a trip around the magical circle. And it represents a time of day when the sun sets. In an annual movement from summer to autumn, the power of the West is the maturity of the adult. Somebody's maturing because somebody, you, or somebody else around you could have been operating in this very immature energy. It looks like something happens, right? And it looks like they grow up here. The power of the West is maturity of the adult. It is consolidation and strength, right? Which came out reversed here. So we do see some growth because now it's upright. Where the fruits of the endeavor can be harvested. It is also a time to look within, a time for self-examination and reflection, allowing transformation of experience into knowledge or matter into spirit. I feel like somebody's growing, somebody's maturing, whatever that's about. Maybe you guys can get back into this two of cups, please. I don't know. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. Um, Capricorn, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share. Subscribe, ah, 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 please. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.